Hi, this is Linda West, and we're going to talk about measuring cellos. There are different shapes of cellos and sizes um, that might create problems when you're trying to fit your cello into a case. And this will help you shop for a case that will fit. Here I have two basic patterns. This cello on this side is modeled after a Matignana. So you can notice that the body is a little shorter, but the uh, width is much wider through the upper bout especially in the C bout. This is your typical pattern. This is a based after a Strad. Um, it's going to have a longer body. It's going to have slimmer upper bout, slimmer C bout. So when you're shopping for a case, you'll want to measure your cellos and then compare the measurements to measurements that I or another um, vendor might have on the website. And you'll have questions that you can ask and better determine if your, your cello will fit in the case that you're looking at. First thing uh, you want to look at is the back length. We measure from the bottom to the top. We don't measure this. This is a neck button, or is what I call it. So you're going to measure from the bottom to the top edge. And this is about 30 inches, or you could call it 762 millimeters. That's going to be typical for a Stradivarius. Coming over to the Matignana. This is an Eastman 605. This is a 29 and a quarter inches, which is 743 millimeters. So right away you can see that this is a shorter body. That creates different types of problems since it's wide here. It also brings the wider point lower in the case. So the upper bout is sort of the widest point here. And, and these are also an issue, these corners. So you have a little under 14 and a quarter, 14 and 3 sixteenths, which is about 360 millimeters, with these corners being a little bit more, 362 millimeters or 14 and a quarter. This is where your problem is going to be in fitting a case. Here is the Strad. This is, this is a little bit wider than most Strads. Most are about 13 and a half inches. This one is 13 and 7 eighths approximately. It is 352 millimeters with these corners being smaller at 13. The C bout is kind of a non-issue. 9 and a half to 10. This is a little less than 17 and a half, which is 443 millimeters. This is a little over 10 and a quarter, and the same on the bottom. So your problem problematic areas is the upper bout. I'm going to pull out a BAM new tech case, and we're just going to see how each of these fit in the case here. So you're going to see what you're looking for. Seats in the neck button. Got clearance around the scroll and in the back of the scroll. Neck strap here and the lid will close. You have no problems, no contact. The other thing you want to look for is that, I demonstrate this on my case, that there's room behind the cello in the back. You just want your cello t to contact basically at the pads where the block is here and the block is down here. You don't want to force your cello into a case. I'm going to demonstrate the fit of the Montagnana and a new tech. So here we're, we're having some issues. And you can see, I'm just not going to ever get this in there. It's, it's contacting on the corners. It just, it's just too wide in the upper bout. So this is no way I'm going to fit this. This particular model 
when you have 14, 14 and a quarter inches, you're going to need to get like a BAM 4.4, which is kind of expensive. The cheapest case you can get that it will fit is a Bobolock. They also make an extra large for really big cellos. Or you could get a um, Musilia makes two Matignana patterned cases. There's an M5 and an M6, and they're pretty lightweight. Other than that, you are not going to find much. So you might have to be think about that when you're shopping for a cello. Now there's other patterns. You might wonder, you might have a cello that's really wide in the lower bout, and you might have concerns. This one's 18 inches, or 430. 59 millimeters. The upper is similar to the Strad. It's about 14. These may or may not fit into a case. This is sort of a wild card. It, I find they're too tight in the Z-Tech, Eastman Z-Tech, but they seem to work okay in the in the BAM cases. This is a gofriller inspired pattern. The other concern that I have with fitting a cello in a case is um, the scroll. The back of the scroll can bump inside the case before this back actually seats. That's, that's really uh, not a good thing because what will happen is you'll have constant impacting on the top of the scroll. It could break your neck. So I want to demonstrate, this is a Ruggieri pattern. It's wide like a Matignana, but it's not as wide. I want to sort of demonstrate the overlap of the scroll to the straight edge that I've put on the uh, corner and the edge, which is kind of the, the straight axis of the instrument. And then we're going to compare that to a typical Strad pattern. And you can see there's not quite as much overlap um, of the scroll to that stick, that straight edge, as the Ruggieri. So when I fit the Ruggieri instrument, great instrument, but you're going to have to be picky about your case. I try to fit this in here. It's got a 14 inch upper bout. It fits fine. The corners are good. But it's not seating back here. And it's hitting. The back of the scroll is hitting. I would not buy this case for this, this cello. I would look for something that has more room back here. And my daughter had that problem and we wound up going with um, an Eastman K4 because it had a lot more room behind the scroll to fit her, her cello. So I hope that helps you and uh, you can send in your measurements and I can try to fit the right case to your cello. Thanks a lot.